in this video i'm going to explain you about this theorem so first of all w should be a subspace of a vector space over the field f okay then we try to define the quotient space like you have in the group quotient group in the ring we have okay in in the group we have quotient group so def to define a quotient group and the, the, the down one, okay, whatever is in the, the bottom should be a normal subgroup, okay, to define a quotient group, the down one should be a normal subgroup. In case of a ring also, if you want to define a quotient ring, the quotient means the below one should be an idle, okay, should be an idle. So in case of a vector space, when you define, when you want to define a quotient space, okay, when we want to define a quotient space, okay, so the whatever is at the bottom whatever is at the bottom should be a subspace okay so we have now we have to show that this form of vector space over the field f okay so how do we have this here w is already a subspace of v over f okay if this w is not a subspace of v then this quotient space cannot be defined okay we cannot define this quotient space okay so first of all w should be a subspace of v over f then we have what? If W is a subspace, W is also a subgroup of V over F. Okay? And it is addition. Okay? It is a subgroup under addition. So every sub... And this is also... V is an abelian group. So every subgroup of an abelian group is normal. Okay? So we can define the quotient subgroup. So we can define the quotient subgroup. Okay? Quotient group here. Because we know that W is a normal subgroup of V. Because W is a subgroup of V and this V is an abelian group. So every subgroup of an abelian group is normal. Okay. So we, W is also a normal subgroup. So we can define the quotient subgroup here. Quotient group. So we have V by W cross V by W goes to V by W. Define as how we define. We take an element here. So any element here. Okay. Any element here will be of the type v1 plus w okay an element because we are defining in terms of additions in product it will be v1 w v1 w but we are defining in terms of addition okay so this will be v1 plus w and here also the element will be v2 plus w okay now how do we do we add we add the coil first v1 and v2 so we get define us v1 plus v2 plus w this is an element in V. This is also an element in V. So V is a vector space. So V is closed under addition. So this will be an element of V. So this whole thing belongs to V by W. Okay. And also we define the scalar multiplication. So we have a field here. Cross V by W. So an element of the field I'm taking a scalar. So any element here is of the form V plus W. Okay. So we, how we define alpha into V, okay, alpha V plus W. So this is defined as alpha V plus W. Now alpha is from the field, V is also from V. So since V is a vector space, it is closed under the scalar multiplication. So this belongs to V. So the whole thing will belongs to V by W. Now we'll try to show it is a vector space. So first of all, it should be non-empty. Why it is non-empty? Because W is in this, okay? W belongs to V by W. So W can be written as zero plus W, which belongs to V by W, okay? Then we try to show it is, first of all, we try to show it is an abelian group. So let us check it is binary or not. So I take V1 plus W, v2 plus w belongs to v by w then i add this two so here how we define the addition we have by using the first definition we have v1 plus v2 plus w so this one we have i have shown you already that this one belongs to w this belongs to w uh, this v1 belongs to v and v2 also belongs to v okay so since v is a vector space v is closed under addition so this thing will belongs to v so it the whole thing whatever is that will belongs to v by w so the plus is a binary operation okay in the same way we'll try to show associative we have v1 plus w plus v2 plus w plus v3 plus w so we can add by using the first definition we have v1 plus v2 plus w plus v3 plus w so 
we can add again using the fast definition so we have v1 plus v2 in bracket plus v3 plus w now v is a vector space over the field f so v1 v2 and v3 are elements of v since v is a vector space v is associative under addition okay so these are the element of v so it is associative under addition so we can interchange the bracket okay since it is associative under addition in v so we can interchange so this can be written as v1 plus w plus v2 plus v3 plus w so this can be written as v1 plus w plus v2 plus w plus v3 plus w so this shows that these two are equal that shows that v means that shows that plus is associative in v by w Next, we try to show the identity element. So here we know that W is the additive identity element. Okay. So we take V plus W plus 0 plus W. Okay. 0 plus W. So if I take 0 plus W, we get V plus 0 plus W. That is V plus W. So this shows that this is your additive identity or identity element. So we got W equal to 0 plus W is the identity element. Now, if I take minus v plus w if since v belongs to w uh, since v belongs to v minus v also will belongs to v okay since v belongs to w minus v also belongs to v okay since v belongs to v minus v also will belongs to v so this quantity minus v plus w will belongs to v by w and in the same way we are taking this so let us add this two so we get v minus v plus w so we get zero plus w which is w so this is the additive identity or the identity element so if i add this two element i get the identity element that means what this is the inverse of this okay so we got that minus v plus w is the inverse of v plus w now we try to show it is abelian so we have v plus w plus v2 plus w we, we get v1 plus v2 plus w by using the first definition now these are elements of v v is an abelian group so it commute under addition so we have v2 plus v1 plus v so this can be written as v2 plus w plus v1 plus w so we have here v by w plus is an abelian group so we have shown it is an abelian group now we have to just show the four condition of a vector space okay so we are taking here alpha v1 plus w plus v2 plus w i add these two by using the first definition we have v1 plus v2 plus w then we apply the second definition here now we have alpha 1 v1 plus v2 plus w so alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus w okay so this w i can write as w plus w because w plus w is w only okay so i can write w plus w so i'll take together so alpha 1 v1 plus w plus alpha 1 on v2 plus w okay so if i reverse this definition see here we have this alpha v plus w so this is nothing but alpha v plus w okay so if i reverse this definition this way i'll get here as alpha 1 v1 plus w in the same way for this also i get alpha 1 v2 plus w so we have shown here alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 1 in bracket v1 plus w plus v2 plus w is equal to alpha 1 v1 plus w alpha plus alpha 1 v2 plus w now if i take two scalars here we have alpha 1 plus alpha 2 v1 plus v2 so by using the second definition we have alpha 1 plus alpha 2 v1 plus w so i'll multiply this we get alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus w so we can separate this by adding w so we get alpha 1 v1 plus w plus alpha 2 v2 plus w okay so i can take common alpha 1 so we get alpha 1 v1 plus w alpha 2 v1 plus w so i have shown this also these two are equal so the second property of vector space is also true now let us check the third property so alpha 1 alpha 2 applied on v1 plus w now if we use the second definition we have alpha 1 alpha 2 v1 plus w since v1 belongs to v and v is a vector space 
so that this property will be holding since it is a vector space since v is a vector space these are all elements of v okay these are all elements of v so since v is a vector space this condition will be true Okay, we are using the condition that V is the vector space over the field F. So this condition will be true. Now we have this. So you can take alpha out. So we get alpha 2 V1 plus W. And same way we can take alpha 2. So we get alpha 1 alpha 2 V1 plus W. Okay, so 1 into V1, uh, 1 V1 plus W. So by using the second definition, we have 1 into V1 plus W. Now this element belongs to V, okay? Since this element belongs to V, now we since V is a vector space, we have 1 into V1 is nothing but V1. Okay, so we have V1 plus W. So, we, the, okay, so V by W satisfy all the condition of a vector space. Hence, V by W is a vector space over the field F. Thank you.